Hello and welcome to the purposes and uses of a serving tray with Chef Catherine from FCS 340 Food Service Management. So what is the purpose of a serving tray? The purpose of a serving tray is to be able to transport more items more effectively, efficiently, and safely. So here we do have a few trays from our kitchen lab. As you can see, there's a different variety of trays that you can have. They have different attributes that you want in your own tray so that you know what you want. So a few attributes that, um, the, that trays have is the diameter, the color, the shape, the material, is it dishwasher safe, and the texture. So I'm going to show that with these trays that we have here. This one right here has a diameter of 16 inches, while these larger ones have a diameter of 25 inches. You do it from the longest side, and normally the diameter of a tray is about 10 inches all the way up to 29 or 30 inches. And if you need it larger or smaller, you can get custom sized ones from your manufacturers. Now we're going to go on to the shape. As you can tell, we have ovals and circular trays here. Also, another really common type of tray is a variety of rectangles. Now, the color of your tray is also important. The most common colors are black and brown, as we have here, because that's the most professional colors, and it doesn't attract your customer's eyes from anything that you don't really want them to be seeing, but you can get other colors like gray, tan, and other colors that you want. Now, your material is very important in the type of tray you have. These trays that we have are all made out of fiberglass. Also, you can get it in plastic, metal, or paper, and a few other materials. So with these materials, it's important because then it goes into the dishwasher safe. So the fiberglass is super popular because it is one of the few that can go through the dishwasher along with metal. That means it can withstand up to 210 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the boiling point. So these are very durable trays. Now the texture of the trays is the top on the part, or the top part right here. So a solid one would mean that it doesn't have any texture. This one is a non-skid along with the others, except for this one has a cork texture. Also, um, something you can do is get your tray customized as I've been talking about. And with this, you can choose the attributes you want, but it may change your cost a little bit. So trays range anywhere from $10 to $200 or more if you want. And so it's up to you what you're willing to buy for a tray. These were very cost effective for the kitchen lab. This round black 16 inch tray was a little under $20. And these larger brown tavern 25 inch trays were a little under $30. So going back to the texture, the non-skid is a really big thing right now. There's a few benefits for it. So first one of course is your items on the tray do not skid as far if you tilt it at certain angles. As if it was solid, it would tip really quickly. And that will help you in your profit of your company because you won't be buying a bunch of uh, dishes that have been broken. Also, it really helps in case it gets wet. Trays are bound to get wet, and even if they're wet, it's still the same non-skid as it is if it is wet because it has um, the texture in it so that the airflow can help it dry faster. Also, the thing that I think is the most important is that we're not using paper mats anymore to cover the solid trays. And that really helps with our environmental footprint. We're not throwing away as much. And then also it will help you in your cost in your business so you don't have to buy as much paper. Now you're probably wondering, how do I hold a tray? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your tray and the most important skill is to have a balanced tray. So you're gonna put your heaviest items in the middle. My glasses are my heaviest items. And then my ramekins are a little lighter, but you'll wanna place it evenly around the rest of the tray. Now I have a well-balanced tray, but the way you go about picking it up. So you do not wanna just pick it up straight up because that's hard on your body and it also doesn't look very professional. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend down with your knees, get to the same height as the counter and slide it onto your hand and then go back up. Now, you probably can't see, but my hand is open and that helps the distribution of the weight so it's not all on my fingers and you do not want your fingers close together. You want it open and you wanna be using your palm. 
Now, as you can tell, I'm using it at a 90 degree angle. That's where I'm holding it. And that really helps your shoulder keep the weight. So next, you're gonna walk first. You're gonna make sure your line of sight is clear and safe. And once you do, you're not gonna be looking at your tray while walking. You're gonna be looking where you're going. And so what you can do is you can either hold it, put your hand behind your back. Now these trays have really good grips on the edge. That's why it has the lip, so it has an easy grip. So you can walk, look where you're going, and then now the day's over and you have to put the tray back down. So you're just gonna do everything in reverse. Bend down, slide it onto the counter. Now the day is over and all the dishes are gone, but you are left with a dirty tray. So how you clean your tray is you can get a spray bottle with a, not a very heavy chemical use. So here in our kitchen lab, we use 409. You're just going to spray it on. You're gonna grab a clean rag and then just wipe it off. If there's any dirt or crumbs or something, you'll do it onto the trash can. And then you'll just do it the same on the back and wipe it off. Now it's super easy clean, but if they are really dirty, then you can, for these ones since they're fiberglass, they can go to the dish pit and can be washed there. But the really nifty thing about these trays is after they're all clean, they can all be stacked up and put away. And so they're not taking that much space anymore because of they're able to be stacked. So that's the purposes and uses of a serving tray. Hope you guys learned something. Thank you for watching.